Hey y'all, it's Lindsay. This past fall, I got on a kick eating Steak and Butter Gals Instant Pot Egg Custards. They are silky, they are smooth, they are creamy, they are delicious, and they are so basic. I love them so very much. And I was trying to flavor them a variety of different ways using different flavored MCT oil powders I have from Perfect Keto, um, just using different flavorings that I have from Olive Nation, those kinds of things. And I, I kind of like burnt out a little bit on the egg custard. I've decided that I really want some today and I really wanna test out using a Keto Chow Core chocolate packet to see if this will mix in better than the MCT oil powder I've used in the past. I really like the core because it is dairy free and it's uh, sweetened with stevia. I personally like stevia quite a lot. As an aside, Keto Chow has recently released their capsules for their electrolytes and for their magnesium. These are the same great formulation of their previous electrolyte and magnesium compounds while being in a much more user-friendly vehicle. The capsules, easy to swallow. They're not going to swell up the way that the old tablets did. So if you're interested in trying the different formulations that are the same formulations in a different vehicle, there will be a link down in my description box for the Keto Chow. So go check those out. But today we're not using those, we're gonna be using this. In that chocolate custard pudding video version that I did, I think I made a bit of a misstep by mixing my flavor, my powder into my scrambled up eggs rather than mixing it into the water. So in order to figure out if my hypothesis is accurate, I'm going to mix my keto chow into the water that I'm gonna use as opposed to mixing it into the eggs to see if I can keep this from separating when it is cooking in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna go ahead and crack up some eggs. I'm gonna do four eggs today. I have about seven eighths of a cup of eggs here in my mixing bowl. I'm just gonna whisk these together. I'm going to put seven eighths of a cup of water in this container so that I can blend my keto chow well in the water and then mix that into my eggs. This is pretty thick, um, which has me slightly concerned because, you know, <laughs> Normally water is extremely thin and I don't know how all this is gonna pan out. The egg yolks in my eggs are going to provide the fat to allow all of the vitamins that are fat soluble in the keto chow to be absorbed and utilized by my body. Oh my goodness, I'm already apprehensive, y'all. Here is Instant Pot Mini. I love this little fella. And I've already put about a half cup of water and my trivet down there. Because this is a pot in pot method, I don't believe the water in the bottom is necessary. However, it's a habit that I have and it just makes me feel better. So I always put a little bit of water in the bottom. This is a four cup Pyrex glass bowl that fits beautifully in the mini. And let's get this poured in nice and gently. All right, texture is significantly thicker, so I'm already really curious to see how this turns out. My foil, as you can see, this is used, reused, always, always reusing the foil. Once it's already like that perfect shape, it's really, really easy to manage. Set to sealing. 12 minutes and I'm gonna keep it warm for about four minutes after it is done with the pressure cook timer. My 12 minute timer is done. This has been on keep warm for four minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and put a cloth over my valve and gently release the pressure. The indicator is down. Eek. I'm gonna need two hands for this. Hold please. I'm concerned. Okay. Ugh, I should have left it in longer. Okay, 
Back into the pot it goes. All right, I'm going to put this back, pressure cook, low, oh no, go back to low. Low pressure, I'm gonna do, um, let's go for four minutes and then we'll keep warm for another four minutes. As per usual, I got hung up doing a few other things. So this has been on keep warm for 16 minutes. Let's cancel you. My little indicator button has dropped. Therefore, the release valve has nothing to offer. All right, let's, let's try this round two. Okay, we are looking like a souffle. I have concerns. I'm able to smell this and it smells delicious. The texture is looking rather curdled or separated. Um, not too sure how this is gonna wind up. Let's let it cool a little bit longer and take a taste test. So my chocolate custard has settled down. It was quite domed up a little bit ago, but now it has settled. It's still very warm and Definitely not the uh, silky smooth texture of my other batches. So that's disheartening, but not entirely unexpected. It's still pretty warm, so I probably will burn myself. Let's try. The flavor is really good. I expected nothing less using the keto chow core. Um, and the texture's not as like, unpleasant as I expected. Like I was really expecting unpleasant things. It's slightly eggy for sure. But you know, that was also expected since it's an egg custard. Also the deeper into the custard I go, the kind of smoother, like the, the texture kind of smooths out a little bit. If this is the first time we're meeting, I am Lindsay. I follow a low carb keto way of life here and I like to do different recipe videos. I like to do trials. I like to do what I eat in a day videos as well. If those things are interesting to you, please hit that subscribe button, hang around for a while. I halfway expected a cakey texture on the top based on the way that the texture looks in the bowl, but no. Maybe a little, like that initial like texture on top, on the very, very top. But it's not gonna stop me from eating the whole thing. While I would not call this a failure, I would also not say that it was really a true success. And I wanna keep playing around with this, see if I can't get a great consistency on a chocolate egg custard in the Instant Pot. So. I'll keep working at it. But for now, I'm gonna leave you with this video of me trying the chocolate custard using the MCT oil powder, and I'll see you over there.